the English is a more patient opening where white plays c4 to control the d5 square without committing a central pawn. c5 meets c4 with a symmetrical approach to controlling the center. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This prepares the bishop for development. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Recaptures. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is good. This misses an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is best. This challenges the opposing rook for control of the open file. This prevents the opponent from being able to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. The pawn is now adequately defended. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to pin a bishop. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This threatens to fork pieces. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This loses a pawn. This threatens to kick a queen. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a blunder. That was a free pawn. It is best. 
This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This gives away a free pawn. It is a blunder. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This loses material. It is a blunder. This threatens to win a rook. This is the only good move. This was a game changing move, giving black a winning position. It is a great move. That leaves a rook vulnerable to being captured. It is an inaccuracy. Capturing that rook wins material. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. Give away one player was winning, but then gave it away. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black had the better end of a sloppy end game.